All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Tazer Wolf from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, a brother sent me this article. And it says, Bill requires employers to keep implanted microchips voluntary for workers. Let me read that again. This is uh, ABC 12 News. It says, Bill requires employers to keep implanted microchips voluntary for workers. Now, you see the picture there with the chip, all right, which this chip is the mark of the beast. All right, the RFID microchip, and that stands for Radio Frequency Identification Chip. Now, it says the Michigan House passed a bill outlawing company policies that will make implanted microchips mandatory for employees. Let me read that one more again. <laughs> the microchip, excuse me, <laughs> the Michigan House passed a bill outlawing company policies that will make implanted microchips mandatory for employees all right i want to read a quick scripture here this is revelations 13 and 14 and deceive of them that dwell upon the earth by the means of those miracles which had power to do in the sight of the beast all right it says saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound which had the wound by this by a sword and did live all right and this beast goes back to the roman empire all right which today you can call it nato all right because it carries the same structure of the roman empire all right and this image of the beast represents the system all right the system which they have in fact all right they have in motion and right now you can see here from this article, it says the Michigan House passed a bill outlawing company policies that would make implanted microchips mandatory for employees. All right. So this is going to be the new norm. OK, now they setting it. They, they coming out with it here in the States, you know, for, for here in Michigan to uh, voluntarily, you know, let uh, employees, if they want to, to take this chip. And, um, you know, let me read some of the article. It says, as employers around the U.S. implanted microchips and workers to track productivity, the Michigan House passed a bill making them voluntary in the state. It says, the bill passed Wednesday prohibits employers from requiring workers to accept a microchip implant. With the way technology is increased over the years, and as it continues to grow, it's important Michigan job provides providers balance the interests of the company with their employees' expectations of, of privacy, says state rep uh, Brona Kali. It says, um, who sponsored the bill, all right? It says, she said companies uh, increasingly are turning to miniature microchips about the size of the rice grain implanted in employees. Hands to track productivity so managers can look for ways to boost efficiency. Let me read that again. It says she, she said companies increasingly are turning to miniature microchips about the size of a rice grain implanted in employees' hands to track productivity so managers can look for ways to boost efficiency. It says in some places the RFID microchip takes the place of time cards, ID badges, and security clearance devices. Some can be equipped with credit card technology to complete financial transactions. Now it says Kali said the devices aren't used widely yet, but she believes they could come a standard business practice around Michigan in the next few years. All right. So here you hearing it, man. You 
they 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 come they they here hey, hey they coming out with it all right they they they're bringing it out okay let me read that one more time Kali said the devices aren't used widely yet but she believes they could become a standard business practice around Michigan in the next few years and this place ain't got a few years left all right not at the pace and the prophecies that's coming to pass and the way it's looking you don't got a few years. So that's why going into Revelations 12 and 12, it says the devil, the devil, which represents a man. All right. It says the devil will come down upon you having great wrath because he know of that he has but a short time. All right. Uh, okay. It says, while these miniature devices are on the rise, so are the calls of workers to have their privacy protected, Kali said. Companies could still deploy implanted microchips under her bill, but the policy would have to be voluntarily rather than mandatory. So this is that gradualism. All right. It's meant as volunteer and it's not mandatory yet. It says Indiana recently passed a similar legal legalations uh, for implanted microchips. So not only Michigan, but you have Indiana. It says Kali's bill now heads to the state Senate for consideration. It would have to pass there. It would have to pass there before Governor Glen Glenich Whitmer could sign it into law. All right. So this is going to be by this is going to be law, man. OK, so you a you, a hey, hey, we here, man. OK, this is, um, you know, we're in that book of Revelation. Everything is being revealed. The prophecies. All right. You know, I didn't want to make this too long. I wanted to report this as a brother sent this to me. You know, this is uh, breaking news. It says bill requires employers to keep implanted microchips voluntarily for workers. All right. And you're going to have a lot of simps, you know, taking that chip, you know, for in the sake, in, you know, in the name of conveniency, conveniency. All right. So let me read this again. Revelations 13, 14 and deceive them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. OK, verse 15. And he had power and that image is the system. So they're building this system on this collapsed, you know, almost finished society you know they're building this new system which which is the uh what you call their agenda all right their new world order you know for everyone to be microchip so they they pulling it out man they ready okay they ready they letting it be known it's volunteer at, at the jobs in michigan and it said also they doing the same in indiana all right now it says verse 15 and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Because ultimately, all right, if you don't take this chip, when it become mandatory, when it's being forced, you're going to be put to death. All right. You know, that's why we're in that time of mercy of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. Scripture says, seek the Lord while he may be found. All right. Now, verse 16, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand on their foreheads. All right. And that's that chip, you know, going to the word mark, it's karagma. All right. And verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is a number of a man and his number is 603 score and six. All right. So there you go, man. You know, we went over. We always go over this uh, mark of the beast and we warning you, you know, and this, you know, basically this one is for the elect, you know, to get ready be prepared, man. All right. And that's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.